My I-140 is approved. Now what? Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today our topic is, My I-140 application is approved. Now, what is the next step? At New Aiming Law Group, we have obtained thousands of I-140 immigrant petition approvals for our clients from all over the world in various categories including NIW, EB1A, EB1B, EB1C, and PERM EB2, EB3. It is always nice to hear that your I-140 petition is approved. Congratulations! This is often the most important step during your immigration journey. Now, let's discuss what you can do after this I-140 approval. If you are inside the United States, you may file I-485 Adjustment of Status application to get your green card based on your I-140 if you have not already done so, and your spouse and children can also file their I-485, also based on your I-140. It may take around one year from filing I-485 to approval of your green card. Nowadays, you also need to complete an interview at USCIS field office and pass the public charge test for green card. Meanwhile, you can apply EAD for work authorization and apply advanced parole for international travel while the I-485 is pending. The corresponding USCIS forms are I-765 and I-131, respectively, and there is no USCIS fee for applying EAD and advanced parole based on your I-485. In addition, with I-485 application filed and pending, you and immediate family members can stay legally in the U.S. without any other visa status. That said, you can still apply or renew other visas, such as H-1B or H-4, even though you do not have to. However, in some circumstances, especially when both you and your spouse were born in mainland China or India, because there are many applicants and the demand far exceeds the annual quota, you may still need to wait until your priority date becomes current based on the visa bulletin published by the State Department monthly. Only then, when it is your turn, can you file I-485. We have published quite a few videos on YouTube explaining the steps, requirements, and interview for I-485. If you need help or want to know more information about I-485, please contact us at info at nwmlaw.com. If you are currently residing outside of the United States and cannot come to the U.S. in the near future, you can consider using consular processing through the National Visa Center, NVC, which will process paperwork and later arrange an interview for immigrant visa in U.S. Embassy or Consulate near where you live. It may take several months to a year from the initial contact by NVC to approval of your immigrant visa. After obtaining your immigrant visa, which is usually valid for six months, you can come to the U.S. to receive your green card. Again, we publish information about consular processing and immigrant visa on YouTube, and if you have related questions or need additional information, please contact us. Now, how about the I-140 approval notice that you receive in the mail from the USCIS, which is a nice piece of paper called the I-797? Some applicants may ask, the approval notice I received is a courtesy copy. What does that mean and what should I do? Well, if you have an attorney who helped you or your employer to file that I-140 petition and submitted G-28 form to the USCIS, the USCIS will mail a copy of your I-140 approval notice to your attorney's office. Our law firm usually scans the I-140 approval notices we receive and send them to our clients via email or Dropbox. The scan copy should be good for all purposes, including I-485. After all, your I-140 approval has already been recorded by the USCIS in their file system, and the physical copy of approval notice, a piece of paper, is just for your record and can be photocopied, scanned, or printed for use. When you submit I-485 Adjustment of Status application or send documents to the NVC for consular processing, usually you only need to submit photocopies of documents. Finally, about the application fee and legal fee. For our I-140 clients, we provide sample documents and instructions for the I-485 or consular processing applications with no additional fee and answer general questions. If you want us to prepare and submit the I-485 or consular processing applications, we will charge an additional fee based on your family size. Please also see our YouTube videos for more information and updates on I-485 and consular processing. Thank you, and we wish you receive your green card soon.